Last video we learned how to find the monthly payment including the sales tax. This time we have we, we have a sales tax that is not included so it's extra sales tax. What happens when we have extra sales tax? Let's take a look here. You want to purchase a computer that has a price of $14.99 plus 6% sales tax or with 6% sales tax and you decide to pay it for with, with in installments over five years. This two tells you that the interest rate is 19%. What is the amount of each monthly payment? So let's take a look. What is the monthly payment? This one down here. So from last video, we learned what is the monthly payment. So monthly payment, there is a nice formula comes up to play. M is smaller. M usually represent monthly payment is equal to total amount over number of payment n represent number of payment which is a t times 12 and a is the principal plus interest actually we come up with the formula from this one from last video if you're not sure so this is basically fee one plus rt that is the principal i mean simple interest formula and of course n is down here so 14 fee is going to be fee is going to be 14.99 plus the tax let's understand it how do we find the tax so tax is going to be 14.99 14.99 times the rate what is the rate six percent is the rate so that will give us fee is equal to fee is equal to 14.99 plus the tax, how much is going to be tax coming up from here? That's what actually we're going to work it out. So if I multiply this actually, let's take a look. These calculators can be handy. 14.99 times 6%. If you have a percentage in your calculator, which is very good. If you don't, you convert to decimal and multiply. You get 89.94. Very nice. So you get 89.94. 89.94. So my fee, remember, the money you have or the money you borrow, technically you don't have any money. So you have to really, you're borrowing all the money, including the sales tax. So you're borrowing all, including the sales tax. So I'm going to add this, $14.99. So $15.88.94, that is going to be your new amount. Now note this, some will say, why are you adding this to this principle? Remember, you got no money. You borrow this also you have to pay the sales tax you cannot refuse to face the sales tax this is the law state law then this also you have to borrow so that whole thing is giving getting into your debt in other words this is the principle so let's take a look that is giving us giving you 1588 1588.94 that's our fee good once we have our fee then of course the t the year so we got the year here is go that's the t so we're going to find the t so our t is going to be in this case five year, years and also we know that rate is going to be 19 percent rate is going to be 19 percent so the r is going to be 19 percent Pretty much we have everything. Now all we do is just substitute into the formula. So we substitute into the formula. So let's take a look. We go down here. So the fee is 1588.94. Open parentheses 1 by default plus rate 19%. You can convert to decimal if you want and the times t is five years this is a simple interest you don't convert into anything now look at this n so what is the n n is going to be 12 times the number of years which is five is going to be 60 monthly payment 60 monthly payment so this is going to be 60 on the bottom so our m is going to be let's actually have this calculator we need a calculator here in this case so use the n over d that's very lovely or otherwise can get difficult you have to open a parenthesis and so on then divide by that so many issues 1588.94 open parenthesis 1 
plus 19 percent times 5 close parentheses over 60 enter 51 dollar 64 cents remember that gives we can round it up because money we always round it up even though this one is not going to make sense but you're going to come along with the problem that you have to round it up so enter clear enter 51.64 so 51 dollar 64 cents is the monthly payment amen So that's what you have to pay per month. How much? Fifty-one dollar sixty-four cents. I wanna. You can double check it actually. Okay. So that's how you find the monthly payment when sales tax is not included. So you have to add the sales tax. Remember, you are not using the old one. You are using this new fee for this substitution here. So you're gonna get your answer. Thank you.